वेलकम नमस्ते नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द कांसेप्ट व्हिच वी हैड स्टार्टेड जस्ट अ कपल ऑफ डेज बैक व्हिच वाज द यूज ऑफ सेलेस्टियल पोजीशन लाइंस इन चार्ट वर्क वी हैड डन वन कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड इंटरसेप्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो टू द सेकंड वन एंड जस्ट अस अ क्विक guidance for you viewers uh, the number of chart work uh, videos are increasing slowly so uh, i suggest if you want to search any of the videos please go to the playlist as i mentioned last time itself i started bifurcating uh, into smaller topics so it will be easier for you to search uh, when you go into the playlist and uh, find uh, whichever video you want so let us start off this uh, the second and the last uh, part of celestial pl so i call it part 2 and uh, we remember last last time we did what was intercept i told you there are three main type of uh, observations which we use uh, we take sight and uh, use it for calculation in the celestial uh, objects so the first one was intercept as a quick recap we used to use both dr lat and dr long when we want to plot for intercept by calculation we used to find the intercept which is a small value which is slightly away from the dr it can be either towards or away from the dr uh, towards or away with respect to your gp so i uh, mark that point which is your itp and uh, we used to draw a pl which was a uh, right angle to the azimuth through this itp so this was what we learned uh, last uh, in the last video in intercept so i'm going to go to the next one today which is called longitude by chronometer long by chron that is the short form of it chronometer is for time so long by chron uh, as again as i said celestial pls we are not celestial calculations we are not going to do in chart work you will be given the values but you will have to follow that method that is what you will be doing so let us see what we do in a long by cron method in long by cron also i will be given my dead reckoning position or dr position but this time i'm going to use only the dr lat and after that i'm going to use the calculated observed longitude this word observed longitude is slightly confusing you should remember that this longitude which you found by calculation is not the true longitude of the ship but it is just merely a, a place through which i am going to uh, draw my pl and my azimuth so uh, what we do is we take the intersection of the dr lat and the observed long and that intersection is a point and through this point i am going to draw the pl but anyway the pl is always 90 degree to the azimuth so i'm going to show you in a sequence how uh, you will go proceed with this particular type of question let us quickly take a, a, just a small example very similar to the previous concept so 8 o'clock i'm giving you a dr lat and long sun's azimuth was 150 and let us say you were told to solve this problem by long by cron method so i found out the observed longitude so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, mark the dr lat and long dr long is of uh, not much of use for you in this method so what i'm going to do you do is i'm going to use the dr lat and uh, i'll be marking this observed long whatever i have calculated and uh, how i get a a point or an intersection let us quickly see on the next slide so based on the same dr latitude i'm going to extend my dr latitude and plot my observed longitude which i had obtained by calculation please remember this is not the true longitude of the ship so i have an observed longitude so it is only a, a merely a point through which the intersection is through which i am going to draw a pl so i have already plotted dr lat observed long and this is the point i am going to draw my azimuth through this uh, particular point okay if you just recap earlier in the last method we had drawn this azimuth 
from your dr lat and long but now i'm going to do it with dr lat and observed long so this is uh, the gp and uh, i'm going to take 90 degrees from this azimuth and i'm going to draw my pl uh, why 90 degree uh, to the azimuth we already seen that uh, small concept please remember uh, this PL is basically a part of a very large circle. So I'm going to take a small portion of that and that is going to be tangent to that big position circle. So that was the concept which was mentioned earlier. Now let me use this uh, long bicron method for a simultaneous fix. We already seen how to do a simultaneous fix with last method. I'm going to take a combination of that. Let us see. Uh, I'm going to uh, take this particular dr lat and observed long let us say which we calculated in the last slide and i'm going to draw a pl i'm going to use the same dr lat and dr long let us say i took an intercept of some other object at the same time please remember eight o'clock at the same time i took an intercept and let us say that intercept was away and my azimuth was somewhere northeasterly so this is the azimuth two, two azimuth two and uh, I have an intercept, let us say, two miles away on this case. So I'm going to go away from the GP. So I've drawn ITP here. And I'm going to draw a perpendicular to the azimuth. I'm getting a PL. So this is 8 o'clock PL2. So I have combined two different methods in the same question. One is an uh, intercept method. And another one is your long by cron method. Both the places I've got two PLs, both the PLs wherever they meet at the same time is your fix. So right now I've shown you how to go about a simultaneous fix. Let us quickly look into a case of a running fix. Again, I'm going to uh, take a combination of, let us say long by cron and intercept, but this time both of them are going to be at two different times. So they're not going to, this case is two different times. So let us say eight o'clock was a long by cron observation. So I'm going to use my observed longitude, DR latitude, azimuth, 90 degree at the intersection. And I got a PL at eight o'clock. Let us say at nine o'clock, I'm using intercept method or using a different DR. Let us say I use this DR. And again, a kind of northeasterly azimuth. And two miles away, very similar to the last question. I've drawn a PL2 at this time, it is nine o'clock. So I got two PLs, one is at eight and nine. So let me use running fix principle. Just a quick uh, catch here. If the first method, which I've drawn on the left side as eight o'clock was an intercept, I would have chosen the point ITP as alpha and started the question. But right now, it is long by cron method. So instead of ITP, I have this junction between your observed long and your DR lat. So I'm going to use that as alpha to start the question. So that is why I've written start point alpha. I'm using that as alpha. I'm going to run my vessel for 130 and 12 nautical miles. Let us call that as Bravo. So I'm going to transfer my first PL to Bravo. And the point of intersection between the transferred PL and the nine o'clock PL gives me the nine o'clock fix. Now, if you want eight o'clock fix, please run back on your CTS and you will see wherever it intersects, the first PL will give you the eight o'clock fix. So uh, this is, uh, a completion of uh, both the methods of uh, celestial PLs use in chart work. As I told you, the uh, actual calculation and uh, using uh, the graph sheet, what you will draw will be in your uh, PRACNAV. So it is not on the chart work. So these two methods are very commonly, uh, they come in uh, for mates as well as second mates. And usually they are a part of the question. Uh, so if you remember uh, the same running fix, what I call in chart work is also called a staggered observation. So there also uh, you can do a running fix or a simultaneous fix also. So uh, this brings us uh, to the end of uh, usage of celestial PL in chart work. 
please keep watching jal prayag i'll come back with uh, something new uh, very soon and uh, until then welcome namaste and namaskar